All right, here we go. So who started game one? I missed that. Uh, Mother Love did. Okay. So Mother Love is really looking to bring it home with game two here, for sure. Yeah, definitely has the advantage. All right, is this Flan starting here? Pretty good hand just by first glance there. When you have the fish crow. Fish crow. Eastern Kingbird could help as well. Yep, round one Eastern Kingbird is going to help you to get some grub. Why can't I? It's not... Oh, nice bonus card too, Ecologist. Flan starting is not looking bad here. Pretty good. So the question is like, is does Flan want to snatch that cowbird up round one or not? If Flan pay attention, they would know Mother Love is a big fan of pink power cowbirds, so... Yup. If, yep. if they don't do it, look like Mother Love is gonna get it. But of course, we don't know Mother Love's hands yet. We don't. What do you think? What would you, what would you keep here? Um, let me just have a look. I'm just... It's taken a while to load for me. Um, Kingbird and Crow. I don't know that I'd take the Harrier to start with, to be honest. I'd probably prefer being able to lay both of those straight up. Mm. Uh, I'd, I'd, um, yeah, th that's true because with with three birds, you you need to pick up one food. Um, yeah, I think what they're gambling on is play the king bird and hope to get a grub to play the fish crow. That would be their best case scenario. Yep. Um, but you can't even you can't even yeah. And then but then you got the Harrier just sort of sitting there. Um, do you, do you play the Harrier or the Kingbird in the the wetlands? I can see the Mary of the Harrier to go either wetland or the grassland, because if the Harrier go on the wetland, you save on one eggs. If it go on the grassland, then you got a four points engine um, with the hunting and the fish crow. Um, it's more efficient than just getting one egg and one food, you know. Yeah. And, and the Harry is only one food that's easy to play with the Fish Crow. So I, I can see the merit of keeping the Harrier there. Um, okay, let's see. Oh, that's pretty good for um, for Mother Love here. Oh, and the Omnivore Expert. Are you kidding me? Yeah, that's... That's... that's I, I would almost say Mother Love has a better start here with the, with the American Crow because it's a cheaper Crow. And, yep. and the Mer Gangster is way better wetland. It's, it's not way better, it's like, you know, yeah, it is way better than what Flan has here. And really the thing that's not going to work out for Flan here is, looks like Mother Love is not going to play any Forest Bird in the early game. So, um, and Flan, I think Flan was gambling on that Grub to play their Fish Crow, so... That's gonna mess up their plan a little bit. Yeah, for sure. Wow. So now it's an interesting decision for Mother Love to like. Should they pick up the the cowbird because they don't have any bonus here? Yeah, I agree. Like the cowbird is gonna work out way better for Flan here. Oh, I think they're going for it. Smart pick. Yep. Yeah, that's that's really gonna counter with um, the. With the, especially with the Eastern Kingbird, you've got already got a um, bird there that can actually take those eggs. Yep. Yeah, pretty balanced start here. Um, both have good thing going here. I, I, I think I prefer Mother Love's just their food generation, um, food, their card generation um, via the uh, Maganza is just that that much better than um, Flans. Yeah. Poor Flan. <clears throat> Poor Flan. Not gonna get any grub anytime soon. No. Yeah. I mean, you... you and they just realized that. Yep. And you always like a good, you know, Mergangster. Like, it, like it ju you just have so much, like, good chance to find the good cards here with the Mergangster. Yep. All right, lay eggs and then pick up cards. 
what do you think? Do you think? I I, I think the the blackbird here is not bad too, especially with the omnivore. Yeah, for sure. With the omnivore, and uh, we know that um, that Maganza is going to enable them to get lo a lot of cards. Like they lay one more down, and they're, they're already picking up three cards. Lelon, whatever that other one is. So, mm -hmm. um, Blackbird pretty cheap for for five points. Yeah. What woodpecker? Probably. What are they? What are they thinking here? Why are they picking up food already? Why won't they pick up the cards rather than the food? Like, I would have thought that they would have wanted to... Because it's kind of obvious now that they want to pick up the woodpecker, so... You want to do it before... Yeah. Your what, opponent denied you. Wanna... Yeah. But I, I don't think... Yeah, but but look at look at Flamboard. Like, it, it's hard for them to yeah. just pick up one card at a time, so... Um, it's a struggle. Yeah. But it's interesting they, they're really gunning for the woodpecker here. Um... Um, okay, that's a lot of food gaining. Why don't they... Very interesting. Yeah. Oh, I, I think they're calculating maybe the opportunity cost here. They don't want to reveal, like, cards for fun. Oh, yep, for fun. Not sure. And they're, they're, they're setting the, themselves up so that they can actually do a few, like, discard an egg. Um, gain two cards and then gain two cards and then yeah um, discard one. Oh, I see it now. Maybe they were also um, laying eggs before Flan got their cowbird out. Could that? Oh, be Oh yeah, it? that that yeah yeah that that may have very well have been it. That's and a good point. That's a very good point. I think they were thinking ahead. Oh, that's actually quite smart. Yeah, and hummingbird is yeah with with the crow setup. And their better wetland engine is yeah, I mean hummingbird definitely going to benefit Flan too, but their their wetland is really lacking. Yeah, hundred percent. And and now, the the kingbird in the forest doesn't look that good. Like it would have been much mm. better going into the wetland. Yep. Do you do you think that um, mother love will still play the hummingbird in the grasslands, or do you think the uh, uh, it will go in the wetlands? Um, I think gotta be grassland, right, for long term. Well, I'm just thinking about them maybe not wanting to go full grasslands considering the cowbird. Yeah, I'm surprised. Not, you don't want to ignore it completely, but... Yeah. I'm surprised they did not pick up the cowbird, but... Oh, the grackle. The yeah, the black The grackle's bird. nice. The grackle is even nicer because now they have the flexibility. They can go wetland or they can go... Um, grass They're actually there. both very nice birds with the the omnivore. Yep. Um. Yeah. Flan. I feel like I feel like uh, Flan struggling. Like I feel real bad for Flan. Yeah, but but I think long term though that cowbird is gonna make them so so many points. Oh, all right. Rodentologies, <laughs> nice. Interesting. Oh, yeah. Oh, they got a slug. It's interesting that they're going for the forest here. Um, I guess it's nice. Uh, uh, you, it's just setting up for end of round goal two, right? The, oh, the sets. You have to, to... Are they winning or are they tying? Oh, they're winning, yeah. Then it's totally worth it, I guess. It's And, and also, not even just sets, but also for, so for the, this end of round goal and the next end of round goal, yep. playing that would was perfect. Yeah, this four points is huge. Yeah. Even though you're losing the blackbird and the grackle, but yeah. that that's that four points. Oh, look at this! Was a lot. Now, mother love have a lot of options. Phoebe or hummingbird? What What do you think? I I go hummingbird. Uh, I prefer the control yeah. uh, of being able to choose when what I wanted, and then also like being able to put my opponent first and all that sort of stuff with gaining the food. Yeah. Um, and the hummingbird is a six point bird with the omnivore as well. Like I think that's huge compared to the three points of the Phoebe. Yeah. Especially this 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 EOR that's no nest specific EOR anymore. 
Yep. And yep. the bonus card doesn't need that. So yeah, I agree. I think Hummingbird is the way to go here. Oh, wetland. Wetland Hummingbird there because they know the Cowbird is there to counter them. So yeah, for sure. This is this is I find though when when people start going co-op. Um, what you need to do is you need to just hunt out big point birds when you're going to get a whole heap of food given to you like this get big point birds to be able to lay down um, rather than setting up specific strategies to get as much food as possible or, or anything like that yep all right looks like fine's debating whether to go with the phoebe there again they got to be very cautious about co-oping with um mother love here Especially after the burn from first game. <laughs> yeah, I feel bad. I feel I, I honestly, I just don't feel like this game is working out for Flan. Um, I think it's too early to say. I, I I think that Cowboy is really giving Mother Love a lot of second thought here. Um, yeah, without that, the hundred percent would have put the hummingbird in the um the middle. Yeah. And Model is really going for a lot of big points here. Like ever said, I can see it. You know, they they want to counter um, Flan here, but it's gonna. T I guess they can get it out with one more food. Um, yeah, that's that's pretty smart. Yeah, it's pretty balanced because Flan got the got the cheaper cowbird, and then Mother Love got the cheaper crow. So like I know you're saying it's too early, but if you were if you were able to pick up one of these games and continue on, which one would you choose? Would you choose Mother Loves or would you choose Flans? Oh, so my instinct is going with Flan just because of the cow really? burn. But again, they are uh. also running out of spots here, so mm -hmm. I mean, I, I can. Don't get me wrong. I don't. I don't think that Flans made a lot of mistakes. Yeah. Like, I, like I said, I probably would have put the kingbird in the waterland right at the start mm -hmm. but apart from that I, I i think like i said i just feel like it's just there's no synergy nothing's really working for them long term like yeah what, what what's their plan apart from pulling some lucky birds at the moment whereas you can really see what um what mother loves setting up to do and and has such a better generation of cards to be able to be nimble with it as well yeah i mean those those are really good points. I, I think long term wise, like Mother Love setup definitely ha has a lot more potential. Um, and if if they are really not feeling it with the crow, they they can still go back to the forest. Um, it's not ideal, but with with forest and hummingbird, they they gotta be able to generate enough food to play their birds there. I think slightly left field, but. What do you what do you think about the green heron here with the hummingbird? If they were really wanting to, if they couldn't get the food the quite that they wanted. Hmm. I mean, it. I I think it can work, but the thing is, you know, they they only have so many space in wetland, and you know they are already looking at playing the avocet, and they pick up the the green heron. So, uh, not the green heron, the the double bird heron. So. Yeah. Um, yeah, it'll be interesting. I, I, I think that's interesting, but again, with, with Hummingbird, you don't really have that much problem. Not usually, um, with yeah, you getting the food that through. you need. Uh, I mean, sometimes, like, if you're just looking for, like, a rat or a cherry, it can be still difficult. Like, you can rotate through three or four bird feeders and, and get, not find it. Yeah. Obviously, statistically, it's not really going to happen a lot, but it, you know, yeah. randomization does do things. Oh, yeah. I'm surprised that they... They pick up one food there. I mean, I guess I can see that, you know, they're looking at, they want to play the double bird. They want to play, I think it's a bit greedy here for mother love. How are they going to find food to play all this bird? Probably the hummingbird, right? Yeah, but that, that means a lot of activation of the hummingbird. That, that's risky, um, but we'll see. Oh, be nice. interesting. Oh, the robin's good here. Yeah. Robin is gonna make up for the the lack of wetland here. I I, I think that's a very nice pickup for um yeah for Flan here. For sure, it'd be interesting though. Look at that. They just they just gave them the slug that they needed with the Phoebe for the adversary straight away. Yeah. 
Beast has to be happy with the amount of co-op that's going on here. Yeah. Um, I, I, yeah. If, if Flan has play, if Flan has played the Phoebe in the grassland, it would have worked out better for um, Mother Love. Then they can expect more grub. But with, with Phoebe in the wetland, that's not going to be that many grub. Um, no. And the Phoebe is nice for Flan because of the cowbird being the starbird. Like, it just gives them the, all those extra spaces. Right. So, yeah, now, now Flan is annoying with the Avocet for sure. <laughs> they just got the Robin and things are looking good again for their grassland and then the, the Avocet is down, so... I think you just have to go for it sometimes. Like, one thing I do find is that when there's a cowbird or like any of those ping pang loud, um, people will shy too far away from um, grasslands. Whereas I think that if you're still, if you've got a good setup and a good plan of what you're going to do, one egg isn't going to make a huge amount of difference mm -hmm. compared to um, having a really good point generation through them. Uh, I've seen a lot of people just, you lay one pink power like that. And it just changes their whole game plan, and they just m avoid it completely. When you can still do it, like I mean, if you remember game one, uh, it was a bit of an extreme case. But game one of mine last night, there was two pink powers of egg laying, mm -hmm. and I was still generating a lot of points out of the grasslands. Now, I had a pretty amazing setup through through some sheer luck, but you know, you you don't have to worry about it too much sometimes. Yeah. What do you think about two pink power now? Two pink power could be very interesting. <laughs> two pink power changes things a little bit when you don't have a huge point generation. If if there was like a um, some whole heap of tucking birds and you know you're going to be generating eight points, giving two probably isn't too bad. Um, also, you got to think about it. If if someone puts two down, how much capacity do they have to actually um, to house those eggs as well? Because sometimes you can just do it a couple of times and then max down and then it doesn't make any difference. Yeah, I agree. Um, yeah, Mother Love definitely have problem with their bonus here. They need more bonus. And look like in their hand, the only bonus they have is Flycatcher, which is not easy to get out with their forest and hummingbirds. So that's definitely one thing to oh, consider. What? Why do you think the Flycatcher is for the bonus for oh. Mother Love? I, I, I say bonus. They they need more bonus. So they, they just got the cuckoo um for the for ping power. They they drew the cuckoo bird. Yep. So they need more bonus to get the free eggs. Um and the only bonus they have is Oh bonus. The, okay, yeah. yeah. It took me a while. I worked out No no no, it's not your fault. Yeah. It's my, my hearing, obviously. Yeah, when when you were saying bonus, I was thinking you were thinking bonus and I was like, Oh the the their bonus cards are um, omnivore and, and rodentologist so yeah you know they've got a couple of birds there so now look at flan flan has a four points engine but if mother love got their cuckoo down then they're only gaining two points and if they spend one egg for food then they're really making one point gain but still i think the robin there is still crucial to sh to help them to shuffle the cards so they have no other choice then just go for yeah, it. Yeah, and like like you said, the hummingbird only has two spots in it. You know, you, this is where you have to be careful putting down pink powers. Um, is the is actually making sure that you have the egg spots to, to house the eggs, otherwise it kind of defeats the purpose of them. Yeah, but I, I can still see Flan being annoying here by, by two <laughs> pink power. Um, this this right here wouldn't annoy me a stack at the moment. Okay. If, if they can get something, if they can get a st big starbird and like like what um, Flan was able to get with the Phoebe, where it's like a four point bird, or like, uh, I'm trying to think, there's a Waterland bird that's a star bird, it's a like draw one extra bird for everyone, and it's like a star and um, like a grain and an omnivore. Mm -hmm. You know, something like that, where you can, you get four star bird eggs and it just really opens up egg laying, then I'd be starting to get worried, but at this stage, I'd still be going eggs and I'm happy to fill up your hummingbird spot and then you stop being able to use it. So, <laughs> his canvas bag. Yeah, the canvas bag. Yep, that's the one. Thank you. Thank you. You are being tagged in the chat. <laughs> um, yeah. 
And and Mother Love definitely wish they have a better force here, um, because picking up two food with no points is is just really slow. While um, oh, it's really working out for Flan here with that wood call. They have just the right food for it too. And the second end of round go is looking pretty good for Flan for Flan here. Yep. Yeah. Oh, so yeah. Yeah, this is not ideal because Malala has to lay eggs to tie them. Um and they spend food and then they give Flan one egg. Um, yeah, they did not make a lot of gain here. So I, I think um, Mother Love is going to move completely away from Grasslands, right? They're, yeah. they're going to lay the... Oh, I, th I was expecting them to lay the, the rodent and then... Um, yeah, I, I yeah. think going to like better forest there might have worked out better because they really need a lot of food to play the rest of their bird there if that's what yeah, their definitely. plan is um, well some of those birds are, are pretty pretty nice with their bonus cards yeah i mean i mean look at flan here they they got really good birds that they can play yeah that's some nice couple of birds yeah They've, and and I like the fact that they've also got four birds, so they they don't have to worry about laying any birds, and then, um, having to w work out which card to ditch, they can just kind of rotate through some of the the poorer birds that they've got. Yeah. All right. Who is looking at the tray here? Is it Flan Choice? Yeah, Flan Choice. I guess not really anything that stood out to me. Um, yeah, they're just going for... Yeah, I think Digger mentioned it too, they, they should have swift to the forest with the hot there. Um, yeah, that's what I thought they were doing, and then because they picked up the rat, and then they decided they changed their mind and picked up the cherry. Mm-hmm. I mean, again, the... Which, which, which surprised me. Yeah, again, the, the tray, the bird feeder is just not working out for mother love they, they need grub and there's only one there maybe they'll pick up a rodent um but it's still kind of slow but why wouldn't why wouldn't you've just picked up the rodent to then be able to at least hunt with it for a little bit yeah i agree so i i think they have a different plan in mind but the bird feeder is definitely not working out for them are they, are they hoping that the phoebe gets activated oh yes i i think that might be it too but with the robin, it's, uh, it's not going to happen anytime soon. <laughs> no, no. And Flan definitely know their problem, so... Yeah, yeah. Look, there you go. See, Hummingbird, full, and Meganza only has one spot left. And the the pink powers start becoming nothing. Yeah. And it's, it's interesting, like... Flan almost played that long spur over there, but they they ended up laying eggs and pick up the magpie. I'm I'm just curious why the magpie. The only thing I can think of the magpie is again it's a starbird, so for the pink power it just enables um more more egg space. Mm -hmm. Uh, and then they put the magpie, um, and then they put up the same card that they're going to put up that that maxes out their grasslands, and then they can still go for that n big nine point bird up in their forest. Yeah, yeah, it's interesting. I mean, again, I I think Mother Love is Whoa. getting too greedy here. Like they just pick up the yeah. cat bird. Like no, no way they gotta play the cat bird. They have so many big birds to play and. This is so nice for the magpie now. Just get a couple of free food. Yeah. I, I honestly, when we we're talking about it before, I thought Mother Love was in the lead, but I think that that Flans turned this around. They get those three, three of those birds down, and and I think that that's game over. And they've got the food to do it. Um, and 
I just don't think Mother Love has set this up well enough with these two pink powers. I just think that they're losing out. Yeah, I again, interesting food choices there. Like Mother Love pick up a fish. I'm not sure where that fish is fitting in. I really don't know, hey. They they should have just pick a rodent and play their play their rodent and start gaining more food. And they could have gained three food because they could have discarded a bird then and then they could have started trying to lay out some other things, but Alright. Odd. 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 Um, well we we to be honest, we do like a flan flan win and, and potentially come in for a game three. Yep. And and Flan just got the platform builder that works really well because they just pick up the magpie. Mm -hmm. That's the last bird that they need mm -hmm. to play. So, mm -hmm. yeah. The only thing about Flan is, you know, they are, they are going to run out of egg space. So, um, I think because there's like nine more turns, I think eventually well, those will be laying eggs. Um, Ooh, they, oh, they maybe not. They took wow. They took the magpie. That's interesting. But that was for their bonus card, right? It's kind of a gamble for sure. But they're thinking like, oh, I don't like that. They're thinking I that I would have tucked that card one, the three for six. Yeah, the grass beak. Um, yeah. I mean, I agree. I mean, but at the same time, it's like middle of round three. They're probably thinking they still have you know a good number of chance to find that platform bird. Um, but I, I still would have kept that Starbird as a, as a backup, though, um, and, and t um, tucked the Grosbeak. Mm -hmm. What is going on here? Oh, what's the second bird? What are you oh, they're, doing? They're really going for the end of round go here. Yeah, and, and you know, it is another Starbird, which, which, like I said, helps out with those pink powers. Yeah. Um, but it's not a lot, though. It's only another two spots. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but they, they I'm surprised they didn't use more eggs out of the Maganza there to to do that. Maybe they did. Mm -hmm. I mean, I can kind of see where Mother Love is going with this, but again, them drawing card is not making any points, so it's it's a dangerous game no. to play. Just... Um, yeah, this is gonna be interesting. I do. I mean, Mother Love looks like they could set up to win three of the four Lola. end of round Come goals, here. right? Because did was Lola. it a tie for the middle one or did um, for Get the second the one? I I think hey. I think Flan won the oh. the second one. Yeah, so, and second Mother Love won the first Ooh. one. Yeah, um, they're winning that. They they will win the third one. Do they? They're just going to try and set up and win the last one with some. Some big, bigger birds. Yep. All right, here we go. So, Flan denied that wood duck over there. But again, I, I don't, I don't think. No, I, I, I don't think the wood. I don't think the wood duck did anything. To be honest, I, why, why would they lay the wood duck? Look at the amount of cards they have. Right. Look at this. All right. Picking up food here. Wood, wood duck's also expensive. Like that's a that's an expensive bird for effectively three points. Yeah. This late. Uh, the the bird feeder is just not good. So mother love is like having second thought and just go for the crow here. Yeah, not gonna lie, mother love tempo is definitely a little bit slow here. Yeah. Yeah, mother love is. <laughs> Still not shifting to fours. They they odd odd. I I think it could have worked out better if they did it like a couple rounds like a go like a couple of turns ago. Um, they would have they would have had much better tempo. Like you know they can they can get double jerk double bird down in the grassland and then their grassland is not um, looking so bleak. Yeah. Also, like it was one rodent for for four points because of their bonus card as well. So it's like a. It's a decent bird. Yeah. And then they had so many cards, they could have discarded cards to get a lot of food. Mm -hmm. So Okay, now you look at Flan, what do you think? Is it worth it to play the wood duck? Probably. No, not. no way. Okay. 
but they they still no need to, they still need to draw cards somehow. Um, yeah, but they can draw cards via the robin. Yeah, I, I guess. Let me see. They have they have six more turns. They're gonna run off egg space soon, so we'll see how this work out. I think. Mother Love definitely sense that, you know, they are in a little bit of trouble here. Okay, still going for laying eggs. Um, Odd. Now they're, they're just like moving eggs around. Yeah. Now, now, now they're, they're getting the road in. I, I think it's, it's a little bit late. Yeah, there are definitely mistakes made by by Mother Love for sure. Yeah, if if they want to go oh, for the sure. if they want to go for the forest road, then they they should have done it like, earlier. Be interesting to see what's in the the tray for round four for Flan. I think that's really going to determine what they need to do. Yeah, I I think fourth turn. Yeah, yeah. Even with good birds show up, Mother Love, you know. It's going to be hard for them to pick them up just because they don't have a wetland engine that make any points there, but... Oh, they're going for it. They Look are. at this. Oh, wetland. It, yep, smart. So, they, they, are they... I don't know. I don't, I don't know. know. What, what I does... don't like that. I, I would have I would have laid eggs again and, and tucked and then looked for what birds were available on the tray. And any opinion from the chat? I I would think even forest wood duck is better than wetland wood duck because, um, yeah, I don't know. Because they already have um nine birds down, they might just play one or two more birds. Not like they need huge amount of birds there. Especially with end of round goals as well is the birds in the forest. Mm. Um, but I I think maybe they're just purely thinking for the. Um, ecologist, right? They're thinking, okay, I get one down the water and then I can lay one up in the, f the forest. Yeah. Well, there's a platform bird. There's the golden eagle they can put down to, to big point bird um, that they can they lay down and get. Yeah. I mean, here's the thing. If, if they play the wood duck in the forest, they could have picked up, you know, Rodan and the golden eagle um, in the same turn. So... Yeah. I... I, I yeah, I don't know, Chad. Do you guys have any opinion on this? The wood duck in the in the wetland here. Yeah, I mean the wobbler. They're picking up the. I mean, gotta nah, pick up the wobbler, like for ecology. Surely you pick up the wobblers. Yeah. Come on. Wobblers, come on. There you go. There we go. You see now now the thing is it's not that easy for them to get that um that golden eagle owl. Yeah. And they it's it's gonna be really good for them because of the platform builder, so that's a twelve points play, minus two X, maybe ten points, so Oh, I think they can, right? Because if they, they can lay flank and lay the hood warbler straight up because they've got the two slugs. Yeah. They can then gain three food because they can discard one of the extra cards that they don't need. There's already a rat in there. They gain the rat. They gain the grain. They re-roll, and see what they can get. But the rat and the grain and the fish is already two of the three. If there's a rat in there, fantastic. If not, you lay eggs. You go fish crow. You get the rat. And then you you lay the golden eagle. Yeah. Um, so I think they can do it. I mean, they can do it, but I think ideally, like if if they had the wood duck in the forest, they they could have um you know pick up food and then pick up the golden eagle and then for whatever remaining food they de that they need, they could have used the fish crow to make it up. Um, sure. That would sure. have been more. Efficient. But at the same time, in hindsight, it's actually looked pretty good because this works better for ecologist. Because if they had the um, wood duck up there, the warbler wouldn't be as many points with the, the ecologist, so... Yeah, but they can still play the golden eagle in the wetland for the extra two points, so... Yeah, yeah. But I think things are still looking pretty good for Flan, especially with the big points pick up here and good bonus card. 
Yep. Yep. And yeah, Mother Love is looking for, you know, all this omnivore and probably double bird in the grassland here. But again, every time they pick up food, it's like a zero point turn there. Um, mm. I mean, it's not now that they, they, you know, the shoulder hawk and the nutcracker, they can probably work around, get a little bit, but not a lot. Yep, not a lot. <laughs> the nutcracker was a nice little, like, I meant to five point play, but they, they've got no other way of having a better engine. So. Yeah. And they haven't been able to lay like really large egg, um, birds, right? Mm. Their, their birds are medium. There's no real like one or two point birds, but their biggest birds are six, you know? Yeah. All right, someone is calling out for mother love here, but... It's Sim. Yeah. It, it, it's a hard call. Like, um, my instinct is I'm leaning towards Flan, but you know, you know how... I'm, I'm leaning towards Flan, but I, like I said, I... I Early early days, I thought Mother Love had a far better setup, but I, I thought they waited to, way too long to pivot to Forest. Yeah, but you know how we are, you know, every calls that we make <laughs> has to be the Why big did, what, what are they doing? Surely they just lay the Hooded Warbler down here, right? Yeah, lay and the then... Warbler. Now, now, actually, with the free grub, it worked out for them because they can lay the Warbler and then use Crow to get two Rodent and play the Golden Eagle. So they don't even yep. need the forest. So, um, what? 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 Why? What the? Why are they doing that? I guess they can delay the decision here, and they were thinking like, I don't know, I, why are they not laying eggs in the forest? Um, yeah. Uh, yeah. They, yeah. I think they are losing focus a little bit here. Yeah, I, I would have. I guess are they? Are they thinking? Okay, I think what they're gambling on, maybe they're hoping they can draw like a double bird in the forest to help them compete for the end of round because they they now saw that Mother Love has eight spots. It's going to be hard for them to compete. I just don't think you need to worry about that. Yeah, I, I just would have laid down. I, I, I think over, that's over complicating it. Lay down Warbler, lay down Golden Eagle. Yeah. Um, and, and lay eggs like. Yeah, I mean, it's just a matter of sequence anyway, so. Um, it's, it's, it's not huge, I guess, so... Well, I mean, it, I mean, it's not going to be huge, but if you, you... I feel like you are, they are missing out a little bit. Yeah. And the food is still not working up for Mother Love here, I think. They need three chair Or two, they can play the... Yeah, I think I think they need another grub or another cherry to play the bluebird and the flycatcher. Um, Have to take the rat and then get the um, grain via the nutcracker, right? Yeah, or they can gamble by re-rolling. But why would they re-roll like when the nutcracker is only going to take the grain? There's no point re-rolling. Yeah, that's true. Unless they need two grain. Sorry. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean... But they, they can't re-roll at the moment, so... Right. Yeah. Looks like... Yep. That's weird. Yeah, it's a gamble, but it, it helped you to see... Yeah. I, I guess you were right. I think that was a safer bet to put, to pick up the roll in there. Um, and... Yeah, I mean... They can they can play double bird, but if you look at the points average, it's not, it's not great. Uh... Yeah, end game is pretty much set here for Flan, and like I say, that the Golden Eagle is gonna worth ten points. That's big um, for end game here. Uh, I think ten points. I think you mean eight points. Eight points. Um, with the platform builder, so that's twelve. Oh yeah, yeah. Good point. Yeah. Good point. Sorry, I didn't think about that. I guess they have to spend Correct. one egg, so it's like nine points if you want to go, you know, in all the details. But again, pretty what, big. What? Mm. <sighs> yep, what now? So, are they looking at. Yeah. Surprised they're going the. 
Savannah Sparrow there. Why wouldn't they have gone the Eastern? Bluebird? Uh, yeah. Bluebird. Yeah. When they had the, the food to do it, like, and it's just a better, it was this extra two points. Yeah, I, I kind of miss it too. I'm not sure. Um, does any, did anyone catch it? Why, why the Sparrow instead of the Bluebird? I mean, they would have had to have, it wasted an extra egg, mm -hmm. um, extra food. So, but yeah, that, that seemed odd. For more eggs, yeah, you can turn one food into egg, but that's just one more point. Yeah, and it's just... Maybe for the adversary, maybe it was just... But they had the Merganza with plenty of spots there, so... I don't think they needed the... That particular nest. Yeah, and... Yeah, they should have catched that grain there, because now they miss one point. Mm. But I I don't think it's gonna matter. I, I I think yeah I'm totally calling it for fun here. <laughs> yeah, I think plan as well. Yeah, especially they they got end of round is end of round is nice though. Yeah, they got three end of round. That's huge and just much better tempo throughout the game. No, no, Mother Love got three end of round, not, not, fl not Flan. Oh, is that two? Okay. We'll see. With our history of making bad calls. <laughs> we do make the worst It looks very calls. close. Look at the bar. It looks very close. Ooh, Oy! two points. We got it right for once. Wow. I, I didn't think it would be this close. So good game mm. to Mother Love and Flan. I, I really didn't think it would be this close um, with the tempo. Yeah, but... but yeah, yeah, the end of round really um, kept Mother in that. Yeah, almost, almost got it there, Mother Love. Um, yeah, good, good game to both.